My intro to AWS pen testing course is available right now for only $20 for lifetime access. This course covers everything from setting up your own AWS pen testing lab to IAM enumeration and Lambda and S3 buckets and privilege escalation, all ending with two full capstone challenges created by me based on things that I see in the real world when doing AWS pen testing. So go ahead and get signed up right now and learn AWS pen testing for yourself. Happy hacking. There's a few things about this that once I looked into it a little bit deeper, I just wasn't a fan one. One was like, they said it was industry recognized the day it was released. What they mean by that is they worked with the industry to build it, but you cannot call your cert before it even releases industry recognized, right? That's not, it has to be out for a while for that. Um, but I think they fixed. Oh yeah, here is the part here was a part that I uh, just wasn't a fan of, especially comparing to like Hack the Box and Blue Team Level 1. Just let your cert stand on its own, right? And there was a few things here. I don't know if you guys remember this. A few things here that are actually inaccurate. And um, I reached out to try Hack Me and they fixed it. Like it was some of the pricing stuff. But I don't know. I've never been a fan of like cert saying, hey, here's why we're better than the other certs. If your cert's really good, just let it stand on its own. People will realize it's good. The other part that was a little bit iffy is the moment the cert released, there was like 20 influencers who made their videos, including me, all right? Like I'm guilt, well, I wouldn't say I'm guilty of this, but I had early access to the cert. I didn't take it and I was even honest about that. I don't work in the sock, but I made like a review video and just gave my initial thoughts on it. But there was like 10 or 20 of us influencers on YouTube that made a video the moment it released. But here's the difference between me and everyone else who made that video. I was not paid. I was offered to be paid by Try Hack Me, and I told them, no, I don't want you to pay me. Because the problem is when influencers make sponsored videos about certifications, how can you trust their video? They are being paid to say what the organization wants them to say. I'm okay with that to some extent and other things, but I think when it comes to certifications, you shouldn't do sponsored videos on certifications because it can be misleading. So my video about the Sal one was not sponsored and I will not be making sponsored videos on certifications because of that exact reason. So um, I get what they were doing, marketing push, but if your cert is truly good, and I actually do think the Sal one is a solid cert. If it's a solid cert, maybe give those influencers a free voucher, but that's it. You don't need to pay them money to make the video. And I can tell you, it is good money that I turned down to not make the video. So those influencers are financially uh, motivated to say the right things about the certs when they make sponsored videos. But those are my thoughts after the fact. And I, I'm like, I love Try Hack Me guys. Like I'm somewhat even staff at Try Hack Me, kind of. I don't get paid but I'm on a small team. There's like 10 of us on a QA team that QA machines before they release. And as a result, like I have a free sub and stuff to try hack me. So big fan of try hack me. I've partnered with them on a lot of stuff, but yo, I, I'm not beholden. I'm not beholden to any one organization. I will applaud organizations when I think they're doing an awesome job and also say, Hey, you, this is something that needs to be corrected.